by default, whenever there's a clip on a higher track, the clip on a higher track always blocks what's below it, unless we apply a blend mode. So I'm going to go back to opacity, change the blend mode to overlay. Watch what happens to the picture in two, one, woof. This is before, this is after. Look at how the sky is much more dramatic. Look how your eye is forced to go to the foreground because it's so much brighter in the frame. This was a technique that was invented by two people, Ansel Adams and a National Geographic photographer. It's called a, a grad filter or a graduated filter. I take a shape, I take a, 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 a um, gradient that shades from pure white to pure black that I create inside Photoshop. And when you put this over a landscape shot, it's going to take the sky, which tends to blow out just a little bit, and give you incredible detail and grayscale and contrast in the sky. And it's going to lighten the foreground, and it's going to leave your midtone alone. So what I'm messing with here is I'm messing with blend modes to create a different look to my landscape shot. Now this is a piece of video. This is not a still image and you can see this is without the filter, this is with the filter. There's a huge amount of dramatic difference between the two, which is really cool. Well, let's take this to the next step. Let's take a gold gradient, drop that in here, and I'm going to select it, go to the effects control, and I will talk about this in just a few minutes. I'm going to flip it upside down, and then I'm going to go and apply a blend mode again overlay and look what happens this is our image without the filter that whoops time out gotta make it bigger go back go back select that clip scale it up that's our image with the filter totally different look in fact it's a little bit aggressive so let's just change this to soft light look at how now this is our shot before this is our shot after. You know, there's an interesting film that came out a few, few years ago, O Brother, Where Out Thou, that had sort of this golden glow with it. Look at the difference in golden glow between this, no glow whatsoever, and this. Look how we've lightened this area right here. We're starting to see the detail in the front of the barn. We've totally lost the sky. I mean, it's as unboring and dull as before compared to this drama here. Or let's try one more. Uh, I want to just check a setting. Okay, so let's try the green-blue setting. Click it here. There's our green-blue icon. Let's blow this up so we can see it. It's about 150 percent. No, not f that much. All right, now looks good. Select this. Go to a blend mode. Overlay. Whoa, look at that. Now we're starting to get into stylistic differences. This is a white blend mode on overlay, white gradient. This is a gold gradient, gold at the bottom, white at the top, on overlay, actually soft light. And this is a green, well green on that doesn't look very good, so let's try something that's got green in it. Okay, take this shot, drag it over, take this shot, drag it over. Look at how this is the shot before. Okay, it's good, not bad. That's the shot after. Look at how we've suddenly gone from, all right, cool photograph into MGM musical. The grass is green, the blue, the sky is blue. All I did is I just added a simple filter that's green at the bottom and blue at the top, gold at the bottom and white at the top, white at the bottom, black at the top, and we take a standard boring wide shot and turn it into something amazing. 